Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. And we are back with our spring along. So this year we are doing, or this spring we're doing a knit along and a crochet along. We're doing blocks again, uh, knitted blocks as we did during the pandemic. We brought them back for five episodes. And in addition, we are crocheting these wonderful flowers. Uh, and we are gonna get you from this <laughs> to this in five weeks time and hopefully you will understand everything uh, that you need to do in order to achieve uh, something like this or a big uh, blanket for your bed or whatever it is you want to do. Last week we did the two first rounds um, which oh. created the eye of the flower. The eye of the flower. And today we are going to continue with uh, round uh, three. Yep. Which is round two in Norway. Which is round two in Norway but in... Uh, On YouTube it's round three. Yeah. Round in three. English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this time we are doing both projects, both the crocheting and the knitting with felted tweed. So it's a bit different from what we've done before. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do round three. And I'm going for grey. Have you noticed, Carl? This time we are actually made flowers that look the same. Yeah. That is not normal for no, us. No, usually Normally we do... Normally we do different flowers, but look, we have... A lot of flowers mm. with the same color combination. Yeah, I'm going to be using the pink. Yeah. So now, I the way we do it, we like to start on the, another side. We never start where the tail is because we are changing color. If we have done the same color, we would have gone from mm. where we started. But since it's a different color, we like to start, say, on the opposite end. And we like as, turning it as well, yeah. don't we? You can turn it also because then you won't have... I don't do it on this one. But for the grandma square, we like to turn them every time. And the reason is because you don't get a right and a wrong side. Mm -hmm. you get but for this one, you will have a right side yeah. because the flowers will pop up. So I, I work mine on the same yeah. side. And now this time you work around the chain from round two. The yeah. chain in between the trebles. I need to remember the English name. So that it was trebles yep. or double crochets mm -hmm. in English. So we never work in the stitch. We work around the stitch when we do this things. So the needle go in between two trebles. You grab the yarn and you make a, a single crochet and then you chain three. One, two, three. And then you do a treble, but you're not finishing the treble. Okay. So you do a treble around the same chain. Mm -hmm. And you do throw the, pull the yarn through the two first, the two sec next, and then you stop. Because this time you are doing a cluster of Ooh. four trebles. So two times on the needle into the hole. Pick up the yarn, pull the yarn through the two first, the two next, and stop. Now you have three trebles on the needle. Okay, let and me see. One more time, two times around the needle okay. with the yarn, into the hole, pick up the yarn, yarn on the needle, and you pull the yarn through the two first. And then you do a second two treble. Second. Then you have four on the needle, and now you pull the yarn through these four and oh. that's the cluster of four trebles then you chain four one two three four and now the the tail is coming with us when we go around so two times on the needle into the hole Pull the yarn through, mm -hmm. pull the yarn through the two first and the two next and stop. So now you have the last from the chain on the needle and the first treble. So a quick question. So I've done my four. Yeah. And do I just pull the yarn through all of them now so yes. that I get a little point? Yeah. So this is correct? Yeah. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> two times on the needle into the hole. Pick up the yarn, yarn on the needle, and you go through the two first, the two next, and stop. Now you have two trebles on the needle and the last chain 
for the last stitch from the chain. And you do one between each uh, hole from the round below? One cluster? Yeah, so yeah. there's 12, there's there's 12, 12, 12 holes below and 12 clusters. 12 okay. clusters. And there's four chain stitches between all of the clusters. Okay, and then you separate them with how many? Four. So four. Okay. one, two, three, four, two times around into the hole with the tail. Two. Now I go a little bit quicker because now I've done it slow. Oh, too quick. So you work your way around the flower like this with clusters. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a little, like a little popcorn or what you call it. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Two times on the needle into the hole and crochet around the the chain in round two and you crochet around the tail at the same time. Mm. Now you see the tail from the from round two is, is getting closer and closer to where you're crocheting. So when you come to that side, you will take the, the end tail from round two with you. And the reason you're doing the tail with you is so that you don't have to sew in those pesky ends. Yes. At the at the end. So every time it's possible to crochet the tail or hide the tail in the crocheting, we hide it. Hmm. So there, there won't be that much sewing later. I think a lot of people are actually a little bit terrified of the sewing. Yeah. Yeah, it can be quite a lot of sewing, so. Uh... Oh, I missed one. I was too quick. I did three trebles, there should be four. So. And you also see the way we crochet. We don't put the finger up in the air because we can't do it. Yeah, I self-taught myself to crochet. So uh, I know that I don't hold the needle the way they tell me you're supposed no. to. But I hold it more like when I'm knitting because if I have the yarn up in the air like this, it's also it also gets very loose if you do this because you don't have the same grip or what you call it mm. is that the name grip? yeah you don't it's more sturdy to work with when i hold it like this so but do it the way you like there's yeah. nothing wrong or nothing right but i yeah. also know that having the finger like this it's more relaxing uh, and the tension is coming the same way as when we knit. So on the back, you see the yarn goes over the finger like this and you just hold it. So that's the tension. It's a lot of fun doing these actually. So I hope people are enjoying themselves while they're doing this uh, crochet along together with us. And if you're a new beginner, this is really a great opportunity to learn how to do the flower that we have been uh, kind of reissuing every year in yeah. a different way. They're all very fun. To and make. if you think it's too quick, you can put, you can go to that wheel on your screen. Yeah, the settings wheel on here on and YouTube. And then you can slow it down, or you can let it go quicker if you like. Putting things on very fast speed is kind of fun. Yeah, too. that's a lot of fun. So now I'm getting closer to the the yellow tails, and now I will take that with me just to get away from some sewing later. Yes, now you see now both of the tails are covered with the cluster. So then I just continue with both tails and cover them up as you go.
What? You can't talk and do things at the same no, time. No, but I'm enjoying myself. It is very relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I get very concentrated when I do these kind of things. And you have to wait for the next round because that is more crocheting. Mm. So, this is pretty much it, isn't you are, it? You, I, I just finish. I go around. You, you can. We have a competition. We do, yeah. yeah. So you want me to stop? So <laughs> I now think you should say take the competition. Yeah. So now you want me to stop all everything I'm doing to talk about the competition, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, that's gonna be <laughs> tough. I really enjoy doing this. But yeah, we have to talk about the competition, obviously, uh, because this is a crochet along and a knit along. We really love it. Uh, that you guys are following us and that you're doing it together with us. What we wanted to do is see your progress. So uh, take pictures of your flowers. I mean, start taking pictures of your early flowers and then keep photographing and posting them as you go along. Hashtag Arne Carlos Spring. And you can also hashtag our regular hashtag Arne Carlos. And maybe show like if you have done something from with the yeah. flowers. Show maybe us what you've done with your flowers. That could be fun to see what you mm -hmm. use the flower for. Yeah, and you can also um, show us what you're doing with your blocks as well. And if you tag the images of your uh, flowers and your blocks, you're going to be eligible for a competition. Um, where there is a really nice price. Uh, the price this year uh, of our uh, spring along as we're calling it is this lovely little uh, knitting mill from Prim. It's the mini knitting mill It is easy to bring with you in a bag so that whenever you need an I-cord uh, You can just crank up this handle. You can uh, take it with you everywhere because it doesn't take any space um, And there's gonna be one lucky winner uh, Who's gonna win the competition and we're gonna send you the knitting mill that you yeah. see here so uh, you don't want to miss this. This is a great little thing. And maybe you can do some embellishments with your knitting mill um, to put over your blocks. Yeah. Now I have done the whole round. So now you, fini you finish with the slip stitch on top of the first treble, uh, cluster and just pull the stitch, stitch, stitch through and you break the yarn and pull it through the last one and leave it like this. So that's round three mm -hmm. and we have a lot of round trees yep so we still have some something to finish yeah. here while i work on mine yeah so that's it yeah that's it and we have a block as well today uh they're all done in felted tweed now so they're gonna be looking a little bit diff different than the um, the ones that we did during yeah, our quarantine. Because we're doing something. Yeah. We're creating a UFO. We're creating a new UFO. You're going to have to stick around with us for another uh, three episodes and then you'll find out exactly what we're doing with them or what we're going to do. But today's block is uh, very cute. It's a little um, pigeon, dove. a dove, pigeon. A, a dove maybe. Yeah. Um, I, I suppose it's the symbol of peace. Yeah, because it has like a branch. On its beak. A big branch. Yeah. It's going under the bird as well. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, nowadays it's a very relevant and very important symbol that we wanted to highlight. So here it is, our little dove of peace. Yes. Bringing peace to the world. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a few more of these. If you want to get the detailed pattern, which has all the written instructions for the flowers, so that you can go from this to this, uh, go to arnicarlos.com and you can purchase the pattern in our shop. And we've got a lot of other great floral crochet patterns that once you learn how to join this, you're going to be able to join all of them because yep. you're going to understand the principle is always the same. So go there and get your patterns. And if you want to do the blocks, uh, go to arnicarlos.com, select the blog and they will be there available for free to download as they were during quarantine. Yes. So yeah. that's it. So if you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on the notifications because then you won't miss the episode. And get on the mailing list. Yes. If you want to be up to date in everything that is happening here at Arne Carlos. Also, uh, in addition to the competition, there's a Facebook group that is available during the knit along and crochet along. So for the next uh, four weeks, and then we're going to keep it open for another month after. So you guys can share your your progress with each other and you'll find the information of the Facebook group uh, in the description down below. 
uh, together with links for the pattern where you can buy the pattern and for the uh, blocks. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and next week we are going to be doing round, round number four, four, which is going to bring the flower from this to, to this. So thank you so much for watching and see you again next week. Bye. Bye.